Hello everybody, here is Peter and this time I would like to model a simple robot. I start with a sphere, but with a tessellation sphere with a subdivision level of 1. Control, left click and make this uh, 1 meter in all the dimensions. <coughs> Center everything in the middle. A key to get it into view and now I go to the bottom view and select these three polygons B for bevel and I don't want to group the polygons click in here red handle about like so then perspective view shift click this time on the blue handle, bring it out, maybe a bit more, and make it a bit smaller. Then I press the R key and flatten these polygons out <coughs> on the Y. Now Shift X and bring it down a bit, shift X again, bring it down a bit more, then action center local, R key, and on the blue circle make it wider a bit, like so, then shift X again, and bring it down, and delete these polygons. Now I select edges in here and here Alt C but with a count of 1 then I press the D key once twice to subdivide the mesh and then I go to polygon mode uh, select two polys here, two here, two here. Do the same on the other legs, like so. Here, here, here. L key <coughs> to loop the selection. Now B key to bevel this, but this time with group polygons on, on the blue handle quite a bit, like about so. Then Alt C, but with a count of 2 and symmetry. Let's see, that looks not so bad. Then Shift down arrow to reduce the selection. B key again on the blue handle, like so. Let's see, yes, then Alt C again, count of two, then shift up arrow key and M for material and I call these material joints and make it black. Okay. Uh, control Z, drop the tool. H to hide this, then I press M again, make a new material called uh, body and put this back to the default here. OK. OK. Now we have a body, we have joints, U for unhide. And now I go to the front of the little robot and select this edge in here. B for bevel again. Bevel this one like about so. Alt 3 to convert it to polygons. B for bevel again on the blue handle. Put this in about so. Then Alt C count of two, shift down arrow, M, 
again and I think we make this the same as the joints, like so. Control Z, drop the tool, sorry. Now I select these polygons or maybe even these. Yeah, Shift F5 and make a perfect circle, like so. Let's see, in front view, uh, needs a little bit of rotating, just a bit, like so. Then B for bevel, on the red handle, and bevel this in, and delete. Now I go to edge mode again, perspective, the set key, action center, normal, and then bring this in like about so. Select this edge, Alt C, count of one would have been enough, but doesn't really matter. Now let's see how this looks. Starts to look like a little robot. So front view again. Then I go to my sphere, but this time a normal globe. 24 by 12, yeah, that looks good. And I bring this out from about here. Yeah, why not? This is probably zero. Yeah. Then I select this sphere, M key, call it I, and make it also default color. OK. Next, I go to top view and make this rather small and make a big plane. Drop the tool, M for material and call this floor. Deselect everything. No, it was too early. Side view, W key. Bring it down to about here. Yes. <clears throat> Deselect everything. I go to the render tab now and maybe I put the eye back in a little bit. W key. Like about so. Render tab again and I make the eye green glass, go to the metal, brass is very nice, and that's it. I have to deselect everything, otherwise it's not possible to put it in like this. So, yes, then the floor I, the floor, I make water, dirty water, mm. next I make this 850 in all dimensions. Go to the layout, outdoor, look for a nice dark, uh, this one, maybe load. Render tab again, and this makes some nice background. And if I put on global illumination and F9 to render this.
and here is it our simple robot. We could do quite a lot of other things of course. This was just to show how easy it can be <clears throat> when you start with the right ground or with the right initial uh, geometry. Here we can put on antennas, machine guns if you like, radar, um, wheels, <laughs> whatever you like. What's also very nice is uh, putting a point light behind the glass sphere, so this makes it shine, but for time reasons I just made it as e quickly and as easily as possible. As usual, I will leave this picture on for a while so I can select it as my thumbnail. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.